Hello all, it is 10.10 here and soon to be 11.11 on the East Coast. So I thought I'd jump in here and do my daily dance break a little bit early uh, because I will be giving a talk <laughs> today at my normal time. Woo, it's 11.11 somewhere, right? Um, right now. So I normally bring in music and and then Facebook mutes it. So this time what uh, I'm thinking to do is simply bring your own music to this practice today when you go back and watch this video later. Um, so the song that's in my head right now for, uh, for whatever reason is uh, No Ordinary Love by Charday. So I'll post that, uh, that link in the comments. But I wanted to talk about circles, um, specifically uh, starting with like wrist circles, but even like head and neck circles. So here I am, you know, getting ready for this talk, grounding myself just as I would, you know, when I was dancing professionally and I'd be in the green room, getting ready to go out on stage. How did I maintain my center, my groundedness? Especially like it was, if it was like a competitive environment and there's a lots of like going on around me. And so something I always think about is this idea of the well lubricated woman. And what I mean when I talk about that is just like water off a duck's back, when we um, know how to cultivate our unshakable center, um, yeah, that water just rolls off. So how do we create that lubrication? Right? And so what I was thinking of this morning are wrist circles. We'll start there. So this is like how I would teach this back in the day. It's like, I like to imagine that I'm reaching into a jar of Nutella or honey or whatever, you know, floats your boat right now. And you are scooping out that little bit, try it on the other side, like mm, Nutella, mm, Nutella, right? This circling motion, you can start here with like your hand in a fist circling. And then I definitely want you to like open up that hand and scoop and turn. So why do we do this? Well, guess what? This right now is lubricating the joints, lubricating these wrist joints. And that means when we lubricate our joints, it makes them more able to, um, Hey, Karen, thank you for joining. It makes them more able to deal with stress, uh, more able to move, right? It's just like why we warm up before, you know, if you're like a, you know, going to the gym or you're getting ready for a run um, or, you know, getting ready to take the stage and dance or not even uh, take the stage, just like dance period, you warm up a little bit, right? So it doesn't like shock the system. And what is that warming up? So we can do that even with our shoulders, you know, where I'm just swinging it around and through. Hey, I'll be in the house. Um, we're lubricating those joints, right? Again, why do we do that? So that it's easier to deal with whatever life throws our way. This is a part of us cultivating that unshakable center. Plus it looks gorgeous, doesn't it? It's like, oh, yes. The world may be in chaos, <laughs> but here I stay in my beautiful center, right? Let's take it into the head and neck mm. at your own pace, whatever feels good to you. It's really just letting those joints waken and move, letting them lubricate. Right, so that ah, we can <laughs> exactly so that we can deal with anything. Like, bring it, bring it. We've got this, right? Because we are well lubricated women. <laughs> and if you're just tuning in now, that's gonna sound very saucy indeed. And you can take that any way you want. Um, yeah. So let's. Like I said, you know, whatever the soundtrack is in your mind right now, for me, it's This Is No Ordinary Love by Chardet. 
and I'm just letting my joints move, right? Underneath my desk right now, I'm letting my ankle circle, right? The other reason too is like, where do we collect stress, right? We collect it in our shoulders, in our, in our hands. Our hands start to get tight. Like I would notice this when I was teaching dance and let's say I was like teaching a new move to the students and you could always tell they would start to stress out, you know, and be like, oh my God, this is new. I don't know how to do this. Like, like us right now. None of us have lived through a pandemic before. This is new. This is new. So there's a little bit like, eh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what's happening. So what we do is we bring some of that lubrication to our joints. We just move them. You know, this reminds them like this brings some movement. This brings some juice, right? Like injury happens when these are cold, right? When we're not moving, when we're not swaying, when we're not, uh, when we're, you know, that's when we become like brittle. This is about, you know, like going back. If you haven't seen it yet, check out the meditation I dropped in the group yesterday with trees, like, and what we can learn from them, the way that they, they bend, they don't break, right? So this is, this is our practice. This is our movement practice today is the importance of circles. So I'm circling my shoulders. I'm circling my wrists. I'm circling my head. Do whatever you want. Circle your nose. <laughs> circle your tongue. Uh, okay. Okay. I can't, I can't actually circle my tongue. Okay. I, I dare you to share your videos of you trying that. But um, there's also to this meaning of the circle, which is why we're here in this circle, which is that oasis within the chaos. It is um, space for peace, um, space for a little breath. <sighs> so I thank you for joining me. Take this through and with you into your day. From my heart to yours, I love you. Take what you need and pass it on. Bye, everyone.